From the get-go, the national media jumped on that, that University of Houston bandwagon. They, I, I saw that too, by the way, and I think it's because the last few years you could see what Kelvin had built. The Sweet 16 team, uh, a Final Four team in 21, a Final Eight team last year, and then of course we had guys coming back and we had one of the biggest recruits in uh, Jarris Walker coming in this year with Marcus Sasser and Jamal Shedd returning. Um, uh, Juwan Roberts. It, it's just, it's a really good team that has a chance to make a very deep run, deep in the heart of Texas on a Monday night, April the 3rd. If all things go right, you got to dream it. it. It could happen. It could happen. How special would that be? You doing your final, yep. final four. This is my last basketball call is uh, on April 3rd in Houston. This is my last journey through the NCAA tournament. It's my 37th NCAA tournament. Five years as the host, 32 years calling the action. It'll be, when it's all said and done, 96 Final Four games, 32 title games, and 354 NCAA tournament games. Not Big Ten tournament games, not regular season. 354 games where one team advanced and one team went home. And to end it in Houston for me, it's just the way that I tried to map it out. Two years ago, truthfully, I sat down with Sean McManus and David Burson, uh, the guys that you know run CBS, and I, I just thought it, it needs to be in Houston, my, my last basketball game. And uh, little did I know two years ago that we <laughs> would be ranked number one in the country as we go into March and that this could all be the most perfect script of all for me. And that would be that my last basketball game would be in my gateway city, the city that I love, Houston. And I could actually perhaps even call a Houston national championships.